Hokoto. Good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm happy to be back. And I'm excited about this lesson teaching because I taught this many, many times before and it's worth it to teach again and again. <coughs> Maybe some of you Marcus, knew yeah. my name Beginning, they are the beginning 
and end, right? So I learn more through Hebrew root about Yeshua, the Old Testament. Yes, his name not there, but he is there. No, he's there. So the, um, the feast, feast, the feast seven, point to Yeshua. Talk about Yeshua, full coming, and he Yeshua fulfilled all the feast, feast, and all that signs in them, which are prophetic signs for the coming Yeshua. It's already came, but then again, more prophetic signs are under the last days, with more to come, and then Yeshua coming back, coming back with God. What a glorious day that will be happening when Yeshua appeared in the sky. And all I look to Yeshua. I can't wait, can't wait. Okay, John 10, verse 16. I, Yeshua talking. I, Yeshua, have other, I have other sheep. That Gentile, Gentile, too. You would have sheep, two blinks. But other sheep, I think Gentile, not yet, door. But he said, I have other sheep, to not in this flock. Black group, black sheep. I yes, must bring them, bring them also. They Gentiles will listen to my voice, and there, there will be one flock with one shepherd. Two Gentiles together with one shepherd. Yes, sir. wow, beautiful. Roman, Roman, eleven, sixteen to seventeen. If the root is whole of set apart, set apart. So all the branch, branch. If some branch broken or cut off, and you, though a wild olive shoot branch has been grafted, this olive, this branch grafted into olive tree, among others. Now share the nursing, nursing sack from the olive tree that feed the and from the root. Okay. Hallelujah. Abor. That scripture describes church as you no know, the body of believers. We the church like a tree with four unique parts. Four. One holy root, root. Second, natural branch. Natural. Third, branch broken off, broken off, broken off. And fourth, a wild branch grabbed in. Grabbed in. Okay, see, pick Now, this picture. Olive tree. God be, be, it's a church, it's a church, like a church. Him, him. The natural branch, who that, who plain who is that? The natural branch is a new covenant messianic believer, like natural. And him, him, in granted. Brand and grafted, representing who Gentile believers. Okay, now him. Root, root. It's biblical to Judaism. Root, Hebrew root, mean God root. You said God root. root. Yeah. And over there, cut up brand. Cut up. It's who the Unbelievers, if today did not believe Yeshua is Messiah and Lord, so it's cut off. So let's play more with this. Okay. Uh, olive root, root, root. Church root is biblical today. Hebrew teaching. Um, biblical. Judaism is the same to Judaism to religion, religion of Abraham, Moses, and David, or David, or David. 
is the, is the religion revealed in Hebrew scriptures. If you open your Bible, Bible to Matthew, open, start in Matthew, in the middle, Matthew, okay, on the left, left of Matthew, it's Old Testament, right, right? That is root, Old Testament, that root. And then to the right, it's a new Testament, like when you saw be born uh, uh, and fulfill many, many, many prophetic happening signs in the new Testament, fulfill the old Testament prophets. And on the right, the new Testament is revealed, the revelation of Yeshua. And Yahweh poured into Israel to make great people through whom he could send his son. So you understand? Without the Old Testament, before Matthew, how ah, God root, no root, no trees, must have root, thought. The Old Testament. I'm thankful for that. I learned a lot. When I grew up, the church, not much. A little bit of story, David, Moses, the story. I missed a lot, so I'm, I'm happy to learn a lot now. And I'm teaching all the Gentiles to teach them more understanding about the Hebrew root. Wow, many got it. So you see more and more except Yeshua. You know, Yeshua himself too. Not many Christians know that too. So let's open it, but now we am here and others teach the truth, tell them the truth, the knowledge, the truth will set them free. So that's our banquet, teach truth. Amen. Amen. Yeshua is the true vine root. Yeah, what are you? Vine. And Father God, what Abba is the God, he take care of the, the God. Three, take care. Go, feed, feed, take care. That's Abba. And we are branches. Two and Gentile branches. Without, without the two vine and the root, nothing happens. Can't let us go out and we're throwing a fire. Okay, second or second, the natural branch, natural branch. the living, the living natural branch or natural outgrowth, the root branch or the root. These branches represent new covenant messianic Judaism, meaning believing, believing, true believers. Apostle, apostle, Paul, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and Peter, all are Messianic Jews. They believe in this one. They worship in the temple until today. They believe still worship in the temple or synagogue, that's what they call They celebrate feast, the feast and they up to up to Torah, Torah, Torah. Yeah. They will do believe in Messiah Yeshua, the Jew, who do. They were not Christian, no, not good. They do. You today, you all believing to do believe believe in Yeshua. Hallelujah. Same with me, Gentile. I believe. And Yeshua is true, true. Yeah. They believe the same Messiah Yeshua as we Gentile believe it today. The, the Messianic Jews established the first church in the book of Acts. They started not Gentile, not Christian Jews, started the first church. And, and uh, all um, Jews, that was that. Not yet, Christian, 
Gentile not yet drawn to lay later. Okay. Through Paul and other broken, broken up or cut off band. That scripture tells us uh, some of the natural branches broken off, broken off because unbelief. Those broken off uh, branches represent rabbinic, rabbinic Judaism. They teach all laws and man tradition. <clears throat> no, like we read about Pharisees, Fair, not priests, Pharisees and other different sects, religious others not believe in Yeshua Messiah. No. These unbelieving Jews still waiting for Messiah to come, not Yeshua. They don't believe Yeshua is the Messiah. That's why it cut off from the tree, all the tree. As natural branches, the whole tree is their rightful inheritance, belongs to them. Yeah, to begin with, it belongs to them. It's fair tree. Therefore, already promised to them. Okay, example. That natural branch, like, um, example, little boy who not behave, bad behave at his birthday party. And because of that, was sent to the room. room. And all the guests get invited. The Gentiles continue play the game and eat the cake. But the boy in that room can't enjoy that. Why? That's supposed to be his party. He was supposed to be the guest of honor, to honor him. But he has not included himself from the party. party. So Roman 11 says that only temporary. So I mean, for that day, Lord, soon will come back to God. Same, Roman today, it's only temporary. Yahweh one day will grab grab this bank back to the trees to enjoy every all the blessings Yahweh has promised. Meaning Yahweh not giving up on them. On believing Jews enjoy the last day. More, more, more come back. Grab, 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 believe Yeshua is Lord and Savior and is Messiah. Amen. Hallelujah. Now for <clears throat> Wild, wild olive branch. Now they took a, a branch, a branch, or the tree, a branch from wild olive tree, the Gentile, Gentile, and mm. grabbed it, grabbed that among the natural branch. That wild olive branch represent Gentile. Church or believing. Okay. Before wild olive tree not included the citizen, citizenship of Israel before not included. But they strangers to the covenant of promise without hope and without Yahweh. When Gentiles put their faith in Messiah Israel, Yahweh got him into the root of Israel. Share, share all the rich blessing Yahweh covenant. You not only receive that, but Gentile too. Them. Yeah. And they became fellow family citizens with Yahweh people who joined together. Yeah, a member of Yahweh's family, <laughs> as in Ephesians chapter 2, as great in branches. Every blessing we enjoy come through her root. 
in Yeshua of Nazareth, the son of Elohim. Amen. No, without you, believing Jews do not invite us, will not be part of that. But thank you, Father, through Apostle Paul, other apostles opened the door because God, Yahweh, told them to include the Gentile, Gentile believers to join with them, become one. Not the people, become one. The church is not complete. If Jews only or Gentile believers only. No, when two become one, it's a complete church, you know. Dead Ward wrote that book again. The church must have both believers, Gentiles and Jews together. The world will do powerful things around the world if they work together as one in Yeshua Messiah. Do believers need Gentile believers? Gentile believers need Jewish believers together, together, work together. And and they just were war and around the world. Revival happened, signs of wonder will happen the last day. Hallelujah. Become it's starting now in you and me. Please we need to start together and do many others around the world the same thing. Because the truth now reveals more and more we see the truth. Whoa, the more Fire for the Lord to go and heal the living and bring people saved and all that. We got to see the coming back like the early church. Today, coming back, that church coming back to the early church, started the Jews and then included the Gentile believers. What happened? For 200 years, thousands of saved and thousands living and thousands of one world. I don't know how world, the world, but most of the world. And wow, and then what happened later? What happened? About 300 AD, dang. Why Gentile believers bring in paganism, paganism, the worldly thing, worldly idol, worldly God, and unworldly tradition, tradition. They bring in with them into the church, including them. No, the Jew and the Gentile, and they, and it's that unfortunate. But now coming back together, and and now the truth. We find the truth here. The word come back, learn to tell what happened. We come back and reveal that more and more and more are coming together. Jew and Gentile, and you see more signs on the last day. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Both. Jew and Gentile believers in Messiah are part of the same, same one family of faith, same deep inheritance, and the same olive, olive tree. Paul says that we Gentile Gentiles have been brought, brought near by the blood of Messiah. We we Gentiles no longer stranger and foreigners of the family of Elohim. We are included with you. I'm glad, I'm thankful for you open for me and other Gentile believers to join. And I'm teaching now to the Gentile mostly and and, and you too. Some uh, Jews believers not know that, maybe some don't know, they teach them that we all want together. Yes, Jews and Gentile together, one people. One hope in God, Yahweh, Yahweh, Amen. Some Christians believe in replacement theology, meaning what they believe is to replace the Jewish people and become the new Israel. And that they believe that Yahweh rejected and punishing the Jewish people, why? Because the, the, the Jews rejected Yeshua, Messiah. That not true. That where lie come from, devil. 
devil you that lie to do and drink out baby and and the gift that they replace the Jews and it's not because it's not based on word in Roman. Paul they will explain that later. So I'm gonna let you know. Just some belief Christian replace to believe it. Because they was just yesterday. No, that's not true. Okay, but let you know. Remember. Apostle Paul, Roman eleven. One them, the Green Tower, we're talking to the Green Tower, believe. One them taking on arrogance, arrogance that promotes wrong thinking. Again, like I said, away from the devil, deceive them, de believing they replace the true reason. Roman 11 says, but, Paul said, but if some of the bench, bench broken off that unbelieving Jew, not believing Jesus, and you, Gentile, being with their wild olive branch, were grafted among them believers, became partakers with them, rift root of the olive olive tree. You know, from arrogant, arrogant, toward the branch, from them. I'm better than you. No, 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 no. But if you are arrogant. Remember, that is not you, the, the Gentile believer. That not you, the poet, the root. No, it's the root, the poet, you, the Gentile believer. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So, mean God never will take to do unbelieving. No. You know, many unbelieving Jews will come back. So it's not, it, it's a temporary. Remember the story, birthday boy, honey, very temporary. Later will come back and draw them. Same, unbelieving Jews realize yesterday is the Messiah. Repent, then come back and draw them with brother. Do and Gentile believe. Yes. Amen, amen, amen. Now, Galatians chapter 3. For you are son of God through faith in Christ Jesus. They neither do nor Greek, Greek, no slave or free, neither no male or female. For you are one in Christ Jesus. If you belong to Christ, then you are Abraham seed and has, has, according to the promise. <clears throat> Paul clearly says that if a Gentile or Gentile belong to Messiah, then he is the seed. And you two already are the seed because you still in that olive tree seed. He John is also seed or is the seed himself. An offspring, offspring, and hail, hail to all the covenant promises. In other words, to receive all the blessings of covenant and believing, uh, Gentile believers, don't receive them, blessing and covenant with them. Now, neither do Gentile from a spirit, spirit. Yes, right now I'm a Gentile. Yes, you Jews, but in spirit. In spirit, through faith, in spirit, together we one, one. And so it's not about uh, Jews or Gentiles, in spirit, because we are born together, born, believing, yes, to Lord and Savior, one family, Yahweh, and we the body, we belong to Him. So it doesn't matter, Jews, Gentiles, anyone, anyone that believes uh, in the family of God. So we are brother and sister in Messiah. Where is this? I'm not saying don't deny Jews. No, we are all Jews. We are born to Jews. We still are Jews. I'm a Gentile. I was born Gentile. We still are Gentile. Yes, in the flesh, in the spirit. 
one blue man in Yeshua. Paul and all the apostolic writers in the Bible say they are no longer any Jews or Gentiles in the spiritual body of Messiah. There is only one new man in Messiah Yeshua. Yahweh doesn't refer to his people as Gentile believers and the Jewish believers. No, he, he referred to one believer. Again, only one body Yeshua. Yeshua coming back to make one bride, not one bride, bride, not two, bride, two believers and Gentile believers. No, that bride will be Israelite bride. Why? Yes, to him to do. The faith going to the Jews first, then Gentile later. So it's not a Gentile bride, it's Israelite bride. We join with you. <clears throat> God, allow us to be part of them. Remember. Remember. Remember the story about Ruth, Naomi, and Boaz in the book of Ruth. Beautiful story. <clears throat> to make the story short, Naomi, the son, Naomi, the mother, Naomi and her family fought to migrate to Moab. Moab. Why? Because of famine. In Israel, a famine. So, starving, so went to other country. There in Moab, husband and two sons died, and she became bitter. She told her son, two wife, daughter in law, to stay, stay in Moab. So, now I mean, go back to Israel alone when famine no more there. So, she planned to go back. But her daughter-in-law, Ruth, what 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 to go with her saying, wherever you name it, wherever you go, I will go. Where you live, I will live. Your people shall be my people, and your God, my God. That's in Ruth chapter one. So Naomi went back to Israel with Ruth. There. Naomi found Boaz, Boaz, who one related to her late husband, related, maybe distant cousin or something, I don't know. Ruth then went work on the fields belong to Boaz. So Boaz said, Boaz, Boaz noted her courage and her resources thing and understood her need for what a redeemer. Why? Because family loss. Has been gone, children gone, house gone, land, name it, lost everything. So Boaz came to love Ruth because of her devotion, dedication, and good character. Naomi, mother, knew would be best for Ruth to marry Boaz. Why? Because Boaz would become her kinsman redeemer, kinsman related. So brother or cousin, the nearest one that died, the next closest kin will take over by them and take care of his family. That maybe brother died, that other brother will take a full cousin. If no, no brother, then cousin, or no, 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 in order. Okay, now, why am I sharing that story? Why? Many spiritual lessons learned in that story. Many, many spiritual lessons. Ruth, 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 uh, Moabit, a Gentile, Gentile. Ruth, the Gentile, came to love Elohim and embrace the Jewish tradition because of her love for Naomi. Naomi was a Jew, but there, 
represent Israel. She taught Ruth about name is Elohim. Ruth learned more about Elohim. Yahweh reconciled, 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 and restored Naomi to Boaz, right, the Redeemer. Remember, Naomi, her husband, died. Boaz, again, related to her husband that died by the Redeemer, back in his family. Yahweh also restored Naomi's faith through Ruth and redeem their family honor through Boaz. Well, um, um, and Boaz represent who? Yeshua, the Redeemer, himself like Yeshua. He made Ruth and brought Naomi into family. So Naomi, Jews, and Ruth, the Gentile, were like one new man woman or woman to woman and both both received covenant blessing from Boaz is a redeemer. Wow. And that's a beautiful picture of one new man people in Yes Lam Sam. Thank you now. Almost finished. Ma'am. If it's in chapter four, there is one body, one spirit that you would call one hope of your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, and Father of all, just one, who is above all, and through all, and in you all. Wow, that's the power of the unity of the Spirit. We all have the same, same one God, one Spirit, one Lord and all that. Amen. Okay, last. John 17. Most of you probably know that. It's just a prayer. Yes, we pray for believers. I, yes, we're talking. I, yes, we do not pray for these alone. Why? You see, alone will not come. Alone will suffer. And no encouragement, no hope, but alone. So, so that's, what, that's why he prayed. But also pray for those who will believe in me through their word, that they all become one, and you, Father, they all in me, and I, Yeshua, in you. Thank you. One and one, Yeshua, and believe in one, then Yeshua, the Father, one, one, that the world may believe that you sent me, the glory which you gave me, Yeshua. Ah, that glory you gave me, that glory I gave to them. You see that glory, hallelujah. That they may be one, just as we are one. Ah, in them, and you in me, that they may be Perfect in one. Wow, man. Wow. It's been so unfavorable. Father, thank you, Father. Thank you for the truth, the word. Father, thank you. We know Yeshua came to earth and died for all, regardless of Jew, Gentile, whoever, no matter. He died for all. One, one time, he died one and for all, that's it, because he rose from the dead, sent it with the Father, and he took, he took all the sins and dead and sick and, and, and infirmity, weakness and everything, he took it with him. And he gave us what? The righteousness, 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 without righteousness, we cannot enter his kingdom. Must be born again, accept Yeshua as Lord and Savior, and confess with your mouth and Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart. Yahweh raised Yeshua from the dead, and you shall be saved. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father. Forgive us, hope.
take the body to show us the truth. Yes, to eat the way, the food, and life. No one can come to the Father except to Yes, to Yes, to Thank you. You did it all. It's finished. You did it. My work, his work, is finished. And that God is finished. Hallelujah. Finished. And no more died, no more resurrection is finished. One and for all. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Praise you, Father. Hallelujah. You worthy, worthy of all praise, honor, and glory, and everything. We, we exalt your name above all other gods. All other names. There's no one like you. You are one true creator. Creator. One true Elohim. No, all other God not true is false. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you. Bless you. We love you. Yes, it's name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Bless you. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord.